Hey YouTube, how you all doing? Uh, another uh, water filter video. <laughs> Cities, we're actually having a water scare and um, contaminants in our water, uh, drinking water or water system. So I bought this kit, a uh, drinking water test kit, along with it, water quality tester. And I have this existing um, water filter right here, only rated for NSF 42. NSF 42 is actually just to remove that and remove the taste of chlorine and also uh, give it a better taste. But other than that, that's all it filters. And uh, I got a new filter, Aquacrest, rated with NSF 42, 53, and 401. 401 is like emerging contaminants not uh, regulated by EPA yet, but thought I'd get it. Um, and of course, the main reason for this is the NSF 53. It's supposed to reduce uh, lead content in your uh, drinking water or uh, water system. I'm collect some water samples, one from the tap, one from the uh, filtered water from the refrigerator with the existing filter, with the uh, filter rating of 42. And of course, after I replaced this uh, existing filter with the uh, Aquacrest with a uh, rating of 42, 53, and 401. And for the fun of it, I'll also draw water from our sump pit uh, in our basement and uh, go from there. Hang tight. This is the sump pit in my basement. Let's draw water. Here's a new filter. Let's install it. This is our LG refrigerator. Lesson learned from the last time. Uh, you don't have to turn off the faucet or the uh, water supply to remove your filter. Push it. There was a shelf here, top shelf. I removed it so you could swing this all the way down. Pull this down in an angle, all the way down. And this should just come out. There's the old one. Let's put the new one in. There you go. That's for NSF 53. Reduce the lead amount in your uh, drinking water. Let's put it in, swing it up. Right there. And a quick note. Uh, filters typically last uh, six months. Glad I put that uh, insulation date right there, October. So it's actually midway. It's February now, uh, February 1st actually, so I'm halfway there. So this is still in its prime, right? No need for replacement, but I really want to put that uh, NSF 53 filter in my refrigerator. They're a uh, performance data sheet. Just finished installing the uh, new filter. Draw water until you get clear water. Let's say a couple of gallons. Keep doing it until clear. Here we go, new filter with a rating of 42, 53, and 401. Okay, pull one of these, or well, four of them. Okay.
How about that? Let's take a look. Just a, a quick guide on how to read this uh, test strip. This is fluoride, chlorine, nitrite, nitrate, lead, copper, iron, hardness, pH, and alkaline. The main reason why I'm testing my drinking water is this one right here, lead. Having that orange is a relief. Pretty happy with that result. Fluoride, good shape too, and alkaline. That's the sump pit, tap, faucet, fridge with just the existing R42, NSF42. And that's the newer one. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the uh, test strips uh, results. And uh, if you're a prepper, not bad for, uh, for the uh, sump pit water uh, readings, right? And the tap, not bad either. This is really interesting right here. The, um, the results right here for alkaline. Interestingly enough, the old uh, water filter, go figure. And the tap is on the bad side of things. All right, my wife added this to the mix. Let's test the Brita with the uh, filter of 42. Let's find out. All right, that's the Brita. Everything looks great too. Orange right there. That's all the lead reading right there. The rest are pretty much identical. Uh, and uh, we're actually really good. All right, let's go test our solids. Uh, new filter. 157. 157. That's for the uh, new filter. All right, next, the fridge with the R42. All right, let's stare at that. 170, about tap water. Here we go. 172, solids. Now the sump pit. Uh -huh. Tap water and the sump pit has the same solids, 170, 172, 173, all right. There it is, 173 for the sump pit, 152 for the Brita. Brita's getting a lot of, uh, filtering a lot of solids. My solids uh, readings, not bad. Just about right there, right? From 100 to 200, I know we did not go above 200, so I'm in great shape. So that was it. That was fun. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. I'm happy I replaced my filter with the uh, Aqua Crest with the uh, NSF rating of 42, 53, and 401. How about that? Lead is not a concern in our area, so I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. The tap is actually turning green again, and the old is actually green as well, the old filter. Take a look. So it's pretty accurate reading uh, alkaline content. But then again, how about how can you explain those bars, alkaline water bars, right? I guess alkaline is supposedly good for you now. So that's interesting. So you know what? I'll leave it up to you. But it's just an interesting thing. And uh, go from there. You know what? For, for the heck of it, I'm going to retest the new filter.